be quiet and nobody share our faith because that's what God is trusting us to do, really. Yeah. And really, it's just an example that I see is that, you know, like, my parents are baptized disciples everywhere. Back in the OC, the Inland Empire, all the way in Southland, what's up? And even in Portland, Washington, D.C., Phoenix, Houston, and even all around the world, even in Houston, in Charlotte, Philadelphia, New York, Denver, Chile, London, and Manila. Just random people don't even know many different races and cultures trying to make more people just like them. Yeah. Really, that's what it's all about. And so what's awesome is that we're not just trying to just share our faith and really be fruitful. We're trying to build the earth. And so even though they have spiritual doppelgangers nearly in every one of our church movements. And so what's awesome is like me and myself, I've been in Portland, I've been in DC, and I've been in Phoenix, and now I'm in Southland. person just like me, just like Joshua, just like Josiah, and just like Ethan, We're trying to leave us someone just like our own spiritual God. Right? And so when you share your faith, you really don't want to just go and get one person, just make that one person your doppelganger. You want to give everybody a chance to know what the love of God is. So we want to make multiple persons of ourselves, right? And so what's awesome is that, really, I'm just so grateful that we've lived a full life in the kingdom. Yeah. Really, not many people get to do that, but I'm just so grateful to be here. And I want to urge you guys and inspire you guys. Don't just live a life and be surviving as just being a disciple. Hey, yeah, come on. Hey, yeah. Give your best of finding the person that God created for you to a pink pack, to impact for you. Woo! Okay. So go for building the city and then let's move on to this earth. Come on, come on. Timothy, our brother, says to fight even our dear friend. Come on. Send a fellow worker to after our sister and the archivist and our fellow soldier to the church that meets our home. Amen. Grace be to you and peace from our God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Says, in verse 4, I was always thanked by God, and I will always remember you in my prayers. Says, because I hear you about your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your love for all the saints, I pray that you may be active in sharing your faith. So that you will be full understanding and having in every good thing that we have in Christ Jesus. Says, and your love has given me great joy and encouragement because you, brother, have refreshed the hearts of the saints. Come on, Come on bro. And really, you know, Paul prayed for the entire church. He didn't just pray for certain people. And really, here's the principle. The more you share, the more you realize how much God has done for you. And when you share, really, you get to know what more things that God has done for you. And it keeps you more grateful for God. Yeah. That's true. You know, and his kingdom and his love for his disciples. And the people, then when you share with them, you tell them just how bad life is for God. But really, sharing our faith guards our hearts and keeps us grateful. Really, and what's awesome is that even through all these different events that we have, like on the calendar, we have events of our leaders organized so we can all be fruitful, right? All these different awesome events. Like we have Tim Plan that some of impossible love. Oh, 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 oh. Really, it's just because you know, we have fun with Women's Day. We also have in three weeks, they have our second annual Men's Forum. How about that? Handing out and inviting people to these events. Because you don't want to just go to Debo, take a friend with you. Yeah, you want to go to the movies, take a friend with you. Yeah. Yeah. Don't just have fun, take a non Christian and have fun. Oh, yeah. 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 This right there is my awesome brother Josiah. I remember you know, after I was baptized, the one thing I want to do is baptize my best friend. But not only that, it's just the memories that me and him have together. I remember staying up late nights, I'm talking 3 4 in the morning, just Laughing. I mean, dying to the point where I have my dad coming to the room and stop. At the same time, like, these are the two memories that we have together, just playing school and sports, you know, eating a lot of food, just having great laughs together, just having great memories. At the same time, God calls you to bear fruit that will last, that you will baptize, right? Come on. And he said, basically, he says, your double will be your best friend. And I know Josiah is one of my best friends that I have. Like, I have to Amen. do a great job on our studies is because we want to make them that way they will last. Come on, bro. They're going to come into the, to the kingdom and struggle with them to come to the kingdom and they're just so grateful and honored to just be a part of God's kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. And really, on. just think about it. 
God's filling the earth so that they will stay faithful by the same time. He's filling someone who's going to love like you. And really, someone who's going to be disciples and disciple like you and be loyal and be loyal just like you. Yeah. And, really, and someone who has every single quality that made God pick you and appoint you. Because he knows that you're going to display it on somebody else. Really, that's why Paul really just told his disciples in 1 Corinthians, you guys have to change there. In uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, it says, Follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. Yeah. Right? Come on, that's he says, He was being fruitful, but why did God invent being fruitful? So that you'll always have a best friend next to you who knows what you need and knows what you have in you. Just really just oh, Come on, bro. Really, you and that person will be doing that whole work together. And just, just know how grateful we are just to have you guys here. But the fact that hey. because you're here right now, somebody is obeying the scriptures. Yeah. Come on. You don't even know. I really encourage you guys to do these studies. Because right now, someone else is going out sharing their faith and being fruitful and trying to fill the earth. is because they're trying to make you maybe their next spiritual health. That's it. So really, the best thing is that God commands you are not just God's glory. Oh, is that they're for you and for me. And I want to share one last scripture. It's in John 10, verse 10. Right. Come on, bro. Come on. You know, in verse 10 right here, it says, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. But I have come that they may have life and life to the full. And really, that's what it's all about. Come on. Living life to the full. Come on, bro. Now I encourage you guys. Go find your spiritual doppelganger because that is life to the full. Thank you guys so much for